everybody, welcome back. We are going to tackle the hood as well as the uh, doors. So again, the doors are ones that kind of open Lambo doors. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure out how to do those. So stay tuned. All right, here we are at the front of the car. Um, just looking at the radiator here. So right now it's not, the hood's not quite sitting. It's touching just right there. And also the same place we're there. So I just need to cut that back. Um, I think with the batteries and such, this really needs to come as far forward as it can. So I will need to do that. I trimmed um, up there that corner and over there that corner. So everything fits now. Um, I may want just a titch more room, but anyway, it fits. So there we go. A little bit windy out here today, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this prep to rejoin. So basically what I'm looking for, I don't necessarily need to knock out all the stuff that's like attached, but I do need to find where, essentially where those cracks go and, and try and make sure I can kind of get to the end of the crack on, on both sides. Um, and then I'm just gonna fill it in with some um, epoxy. All right, so I just kind of chased all the cracks and kind of just made sure they're around where I could find them. So. Uh, again, a lot of this stuff just kind of chipped out, but again, made sure that there's just no places where cracks could start again. So that's this is the front side. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, underneath side as well. Did the same thing on the inside. Just cleared out those cracks and any loose debris. So I think I'll try and uh, tape it up and get it ready for some epoxy. I have taped off kind of this section and then I'm going to roll it up. So uh, this side is down, then I'm going to pour the epoxy in from on top. Alright, so you saw that I taped up the bottom. So I kind of got the high spot here. So I filled it up about halfway and then I noticed it starting to leak over here. So I had to start taping up the top and taped over this side. But basically I filled it all the way up here, all the way to the top. So now just letting it cure and we'll see how it turns out. We let the epoxy set up overnight and we're going to go ahead and remove the tape and see how it looks. Here we are with the tape removed. So you can see all the places where I kind of uh, essentially enlarged all the cracks so it could fill in. Um, and then I just put it all with epoxy. So hopefully everything looks pretty good. I'll try and clean up some of the little drool areas. But then hopefully that, that'll make it all secure. I have to correct myself. Uh, a couple uh, viewers pointed out that I referred to things wrong, which is probably very frequent. Anyway, when I refer to batteries, lots of times I just say batteries. Um, really, as I guess I'm learning, uh, but essentially this is a battery module. So there's actually 16 cells within that battery module. So when I say battery, though, lots of times I'm just referring to that thing that has uh, stored energy. But battery module, so again, there's individual cells within that battery module. And then when I kind of put a whole bunch of them in a collection in one place, we're calling that a battery pack. So my car, I've got 16, no, sorry, 12 battery modules, and I'm gonna have two battery packs. So one, up, one pack up front, one back, one pack in the rear. But anyways, I apologize for frequently misusing terms. Here we are at CAD again. Um, I got a lot of comments about the, um, the weight of the car, the distribution of the weight of the car. And so um, I went to CAD and just kind of plugged in the center of gravity. Um, just wanted to see kind of how it compared to others. And so really this, this right here represents center of gravity. And to kind of give you an idea of how this kit was originally designed, it was originally designed to have the engine in the rear. So essentially like, uh, anyways, the, the engine as well as the transmission, the transmission came out the back further. So again, you had a lot of weight um, over the axle and behind the axle, and again, the engine was up higher. So having the Tesla drivetrain really drops that and puts it in line with the rear axle. 
And so again, this whole back cavern kind of becomes open, which shifts the center of gravity further forward. And then also all the batteries, uh, so again, the, the rear battery pack is forward of the rear drive, uh, essentially the rear axle. So again, that shifts it also forward. This is uh, all from where it's originally designed. The other thing I did is I placed the front battery pack over the front axle. So again, that moved the center of gravity even further forward. So I looked at kind of what this means. And again, we're pretty, pretty close to center. It's, um, it is a little back, a little towards the rear. And um, the other thing I will acknowledge, I don't have everything exactly modeled. I'm sure some of the calculations are a little bit off or some of the uh, densities aren't spot on. So I, I recognize that this might not be uh, extremely accurate, but again, it kind of gives me an idea of where things are to. And so that, that looks pretty dang good to me. So the weight distribution for this is uh, essentially 47 in the front, 53 in the back. So kind of looked at some other cars for comparison. So the Porsche GT2 RS is essentially 39 in the front, 61 in the back. Again, that's a rear engine car. Uh, something like the Ferrari 458, it's 42 in the front, 58 in the back. Nissan GTR is 53 in the front, 47 in the back. So that's kind of how things stack up. Um, the other thing is, so as far as how far up it is, um, it says it is 16.46 inches up. So again, I kind of looked at what that means uh, compared to other cars with their center of gravity. So uh, just for comparison, the new Toyota Supra, their center of gravity is 19.5 inches up from the bottom. Uh, another low car Scion FRS, uh, you know, Toyota 86, its center of gravity is 18 inches up. The Tesla Model S is 17 and a half inches up, which also matches the Ford GT. So again, with this car, again, I, I recognize it might be off a little bit, but again, this one is uh, about, call it 16 and a half inches up. So I think where the batteries are, I think we'll have a great handling car. We are gonna work on a few odds and ends um, right here. So this is kind of the, the hinge for the door and uh, this bracket that goes onto the door. Essentially this uh, part of the fiberglass shell needs to be trimmed. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I got it cut out. I put the essentially this bracket on and everything looks okay. The only problem is it doesn't come down and sit all the way. So there's a couple inches here and really what it is, I don't know if you can see the, so essentially this weld right here and then this kind of edge right here. So I either need to like take a little bit of material out here or take a little bit of that weld out there. So that's about the only thing I need to do to get this one fitted up. All right, a little bit of grinding and we got it to go all the way down and all the way up. So I think we're good there. Um, probably could use just a little bit of grease and um, this one actually gets a couple holes in it to uh, secure to the door panel. Here is the plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, brackets on um, and at that point they're free to swing. So. I am going to first drill a couple holes in here that will be mounting holes for the door. What I will then do is I'll put some double stick tape on these uh, brackets and uh, with the essentially the bracket in place I will then put the door on. So just kind of again with maybe some stick spacers or others kind of get the body lines I like, press it onto the bracket and at that point I'm going to take the bracket off with the door. The double stick tape will hopefully 
hold to the bracket and then I will have kind of some good holes to drill into the door. So at that point I'll have hole mounts for both the bracket and the door. I'll then take off the double stick tape, put on the mounting hardware and hopefully put it back on and everything fits and looks good. That is the plan. Here's the piece all drilled, um, kind of deburred everything. The only uh, challenge, I measured everything out on this side so it'd be nice and even, but on this side, this one got close to that weld, so I had to kind of grind off a little bit so the bolt would sit flat, but I think that'll do it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put paint again just on all the bare spots, and then I'll go ahead and put the double-sided tape on, mount it to the frame, and put the door on. Here is the uh, painted product. So again, we will go ahead and mount it to the car, put some double-sided tape on, put the door on, and go from there. So I'm having a little difficulty matching up uh, essentially the wheel well. Um, when I've got the, the bracket down in position, I put this on, it just doesn't want to go that way. So I'm gonna have to shave something so I can push it that way. So obviously when it's not in, I can get it line up, but when it's down, I can't. So more cutting. Here we are. Um, the double stick tape just wouldn't quite work. I, I think part of the problem was it was difficult. So when the door was on, I really couldn't push the metal up against the door, so I couldn't ever really get it to sit very well. So I just kind of pushed the bracket up when the door is off. So I got a good uh, press when it's off and then kind of put it up and hopefully this is about right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes and um, see if we got it. So I'm drilling through and I just thought, geez, this is kind of taking a bit to, to get through. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually metal. Um, so anyway, I, I, there's a layer of fiberglass and then they've actually got metal underneath. So um, there's probably like a, a metal bracket that kind of follows that, that they fiberglassed around. So um, that's, that's interesting. Here we are, so um, I only tightened a few screws. Uh, anyway, so it looks like I got the front wheel well lined up, which was what I was mainly concerned about. Um, however, the bracket um, is kind of pitched in, I guess. So the door, when it comes closed, it actually wants to close a little too far in. So over here, it wants to too far in so I can kind of pull it back out but again it, it really wants to kind of hop over that direction so I might need like some washer spacers or something just to kind of get it well, angled back out now that I know there's a metal bracket actually inside the door um, I'm actually gonna tap that rather than trying to put a nut behind it so I'm gonna, that means I'm gonna upsize all my bolts, at least for this door. And then I'll also uh, do some spacers again to try and get that offset I'm looking for. All right, here's the uh, second bracket. Um, I'm hoping that this one somehow lines up better, but we'll, we'll go ahead and see.
Here is the first attempt on the driver's side. So again, um, I feel like matched the wheel well pretty good. Um, this one, it didn't go so much like left to right. Um, it just isn't quite sitting down. So some of that I think is this right here. So if this one, I don't know if you can see but it's kind of hitting there so it's kind of not allowing it to go down. So again, I think if I get that out of the way that'll help a little bit. But some of that might be again, again just the positioning of the bracket. So I might need to like widen the holes a little bit, give it a little more room to adjust and you know get some washers play with a little bit and then uh, tighten things down. Okay, so even though it's not sitting perfect, I'll just kind of go ahead and demo the door. So one other note, um, this will have a gas spring spring between here and there. So essentially it'll kind of help lift it up and kind of slow or take the weight off for the close. All right, so we were able to get the doors somewhat fitted up. We've got some massaging to do. Um, and we also got the front hood, some of the kind of fitted up as well. We got the radiator fit. So the first thought is, again, we'll, we'll get all these doors sorted out, make sure all the lines look good because then obviously the, we have to put the hood to those lines. Again, the, the original line or the line we have to go off of is kind of the main body right here. And so again, fit the door. Again, a little bit on that side. The other side's a little bit high, so we'll figure out which way to go for all those. And then we'll work on the hood, putting the hood on. So that does it. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.